People have loved the fact that you know the contest. In the press conferences, they've been very good to you. They have been very good to me. We have been received really well, which is why for the first time in 10 years, as I told you before, we've got a chance of winning this. If the wind's blowing in the right direction, we can do it. So I just want to say my documentary's on tonight as well, Paddy. Yep. On BBC 3, 10.45, watch it. It's a good, it's a good watch. It's a good watch, viewers. We wish Where's those Sambucas? Come on. Wish the best to Daz and the girls who aren't here. I want to tell you, not only Daz's documentary after those cheeky EastEnders, but also join Ken Bruce on Radio 2 hey. on Saturday. <laughs> join Terry Wogan for his breakfast show, Wake Up to Wogan, on Friday. Also for the final on BBC One here from Athens on Saturday night. But from all of us, from the team, right. led, no, not yet, all right. led by like a of the Kevin Bishop, good night. Good night. From Athens. Bye. Uh, Paddy, tell us about the UK entry. Can a rapper win the Eurovision Song Contest, do you think? Well, I'll ask him for you. Uh, he's just next to me, <laughs> although I have to say, come in, Daz. Good morning. How are you? Daz is, as you can see, uh, soaking up the sun in Athens. No, I'm mat practicing meticulously, Paddy, you know that, but everyone's entitled to a five-minute break. You can't even get a decent pina colada down here. What's going on? Now, look, people will be concerned, of course, that you're doing the best you can to protect your voice mm. and more than that. But the question is, can a rapper win Eurovision? It's certainly, you know, the times are changing, as the song says. And I think nowadays, you know, we've been so bad in recent years that it is time we tried something different. And if we are going to finish last, then let's finish last by doing something different. But you know and I know, we're up and out here all week, and the polls are saying we've got a real shout this year. And I believe Saturday night, if the wind's blowing in the right direction, we're going to do it. Now, the thing is, you're going in there with a, an aggressive attitude. Are you going in there with a song that the voters will like? Yeah, I think when I won Making Your Mind Up, I think I pulled at the heartstrings of all the families across Great Britain. You know, families from Sunderland, Newcastle, Portsmouth, Stoke even. So why can't I pull at the heartstrings of families from Latvia, Poland, Belarus, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Spain, France and Germany? I think I will, which is why for the first time in ten years, the people's champion, Daz Samson, will bring home the crown of Eurovision to Great Britain. Now, uh, you can see that the, the Athens Air has done wonders for Daz's confidence. What about your competitors? Who do you most worry about from last night or even already through at the final? Well, as you know, Paddy, I was really shocked last night when Belgium went out. I really fancied them to do really well. I think Finland, even though they're a little bit scary, will get a lot of votes for the, for the sheer shock and novelty value. I think we've got to be scared of Greece and Sweden, the two divas there. Uh, but let's not worry about that too much. The Romanian song is quite good. Let's not worry about that too much. Let's worry about TV's Daz Sampson. What about uh, TV and radio's Terry Wogan? Mm. What has he said to you? Legend. Guy's a legend. He's like the grandfather I never had. What's he said to you? He said we can do it. He said if we don't do it, it wouldn't be my fault. There we are. What better words to leave it with? Bill and Susanna, some bookers, Dave. than with Terry Wogan's <laughs> words. Just, just quickly, one more thing, Paddy. Is he rela is Daz related to Jimmy Savile by any chance? <laughs> They're saying, are you related to Jimmy Savile? <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> No, in a way, yes, is the answer. <laughs> All right, Paddy, thank you very much. I hope the competition tomorrow night is as entertaining as that, that just was. I'm not sure he's taking it seriously <laughs> enough. Guys and gals.